Hey guys, what's up? It is a gray, cloudy, gross day here in South Florida today, and I am just dreaming of sunnier, warmer weather for beach days. So what better way to dream of the beach on a gross day like this than to go through my beach bag and show you all what I bring to the beach and what I keep in my beach bag. So this is the beach bag that I always bring with me to the beach, the pool, whatever. And it's just this really cute like beachy color and material. It's like woven, it's really cute, it just has a mesh lining. And I just got this off of Etsy. First of all, I always bring my Yeti or Hydro Flask full of water, especially nowadays. Most of the drinking fountains are closed off with bags and you can't refill your water. So I always bring a full water bottle and Yetis and Hydro Flasks are just my favorite for the beach because they keep your drink so much colder for a long time. But in my beach bag, I first always have my towel. So this one is from the brand Sam Cloud. I love these towels, they're so great. I love the brand. And this one is just the cute like colorful tie-dye one. It's an extra large which is awesome. You can fit like two or three people on it if you want. These towels are a little bit more expensive for beach towels, but I think they're really nice. They're super thin. You can roll them up really tight, fit them in, whatever. And the brand donates 10% of their profits back to Ocean Life and helping the ocean and doing research, so that's awesome. So then I always have a cover-up of some sort. I usually just bring a sarong, and they're just super easy when you're done at the beach. Just tie it on your waist and you don't have to worry about struggling to put clothes on if you're wet. Next in here I have the book I'm reading right now. I always just like to bring a light beachy book to read. I get kind of bored if I'm just laying out tanning. I need something to do so it's a great time for me to get my reading in. And right now I'm just reading the book 28 Summers by Ellen Hildebrand and I think she's a really fun author. Alright, so I also bring this little travel silverware kit. Just open it. And it has literally everything. It's got a fork, a knife, a spoon. It has chopsticks. It has a toothbrush. And then it has a straw and a straw cleaner. Everything in here is wooden and then it's a bamboo straw. So this is great if we get food out. There's a lot of little restaurants down on the beach so we tend to get food for lunch or something. And then I don't have to use plastic silverware if it's to go or anything like that. So this is great to keep so that you're not bringing like plastic on the beach. And then I have some tanning oils. So this one is the Bali Body Peach Tanning Oil with SPF 6. It's not much SPF, but I do like to have a little bit of SPF in the oils when I'm tanning. I feel like it protects my skin a little bit. But yeah, this stuff smells really good. And then I also started using this dry oil body spray that I've had for a long time. It's Bring On The Magic by Monet. I'm pretty sure they don't even sell it anymore. I've had it for so long. But I never really knew how I was supposed to use this. And I don't really think it's necessarily for tanning. But I saw this video of this girl who used like oils that were meant for tanning. And I realized I had this. And I just thought maybe it would work. And I tried it out and it worked so good. I got such a nice tan from this. So I've been keeping this one in my bag as well, but this one doesn't have SPF, so I really only use this on days when the sun's not too strong and I just want to get some color. And on that note, I did just order two more body tanning oils that are actually meant for tanning. So I don't have them yet because I just ordered them a few days ago, but I got one from AO Organics Hawaii and the other one is from Ilikobe Organic Skincare Hawaii. So the one I got from AO Organics is called Bronze Goddess Tanning Oil. And the one I got from Ilikobe is the Coffee Body Oil. So I'm really excited for those to come in and get to try those oils out as well. Alright, so along with sun care, I have all of my 
Sun Balm sunscreens. So this one is just an all over body sunscreen. It's 30 SPF. And I always try to use reef safe products on my skin when I'm going in the ocean. There's really not much reef around here, but I still just think it's probably a lot better for the ocean. So even the oils I have are reef safe as well. And all of Sun Balm is reef safe. So this is just the body sunscreen and it smells really good. And then I also have their face sunscreen in 50. I like to use a higher SPF on my face when the sun's really strong because my face takes color very fast and it'll get really red. And then I also have the Sun Balm Mineral SPF 30 Lip Balm. Just helps protect your lips. And lastly, for my Sun Balm products, I have their hair lightener as well. Sometimes my roots start to get a little darker if they haven't seen the sun in a while. So if that happens and I'm going out in the sun, I'll just spray a little bit of this in and try to lighten them back up a little bit. I prefer just doing this rather than coloring my hair. I don't ever really color my hair. I just don't like putting all of those chemicals in it. And this one uses actual lemon in it, which will help lighten your hair naturally because if you just squeeze lemon juice on your hair, it's a natural lightener if you go out in the sun. And then I also just have Monet's Nourishing Body Cream. So when my skin's getting dried out, I can just throw some of this on. And I think that's it for all the sun care stuff I have. And then I just always keep like a little clip in there to throw my hair up and not have to use a tight elastic. I kind of feel like using tight elastics, especially on wet hair, can make it break easier. So I just try to protect my hair in whatever way I can. And then I always keep an inhaler in there as well because I am asthmatic. I have exercise induced asthma. It's gotten a lot better over the years, but I just never know when it's going to kick in. And just doing something as simple as swimming could make my lungs have a difficult time breathing. So just to be sure, I always keep this with me. And then lastly, I have my cameras in there. And they're stuck. <laughs> As you can tell, I use this bag all the time. I put a hole through the bottom of the mesh, so I need to re-sew that or just cut it out completely. This is not supposed to be like that, <laughs> and things get stuck on it all the time now. But yeah, so I usually bring my Polaroid camera with me to the beach, as well as my film camera. The film camera I have is the Canon AE-1 program. And I actually have not gotten any pictures with it yet. I took a whole roll of film. I got pictures at the beach, pictures at skate parks and everything. And I tried to use my own Kodak scanner that I bought. I don't know if I took the film out in too bright of light. I don't know if the film was way too old because I had it for so long. And it was also pre-owned film but none of the pictures came out, like there's just nothing on it. I also don't know if maybe the film scanner that I have is just too cheap and will never work. So I have a new roll in this. I just brought this to the beach the other day, actually. I'm trying again, I'm gonna start over, and I am just praying that this works. So if you know more about film cameras, or maybe if that's ever happened to you, let me know your thoughts or like, how you fixed it below because I really don't want that to happen again. I'm gonna be so bummed if I can never actually figure out how to take the pictures and actually have them come out. So yeah, any tips on a film camera, please let me know. But I just think beach Polaroids and beach film is so fun and I have so many memories from the beach so I just love taking these and capturing all the memories. And that's pretty much all I bring to the beach with me in my beach bag. And I also always keep an extra bathing suit and flip-flops in the trunk of my car just in case I wasn't planning on going to the beach and it's a nice day and I'm in the area and I just want to pop over there for a bit or if I just have some time to kill I will just go sit on the beach. So that's pretty much everything I like to have with me for every single beach day. And sort of going along with this video I'm going to be doing a bathing suit collection video soon and just show you guys all the bikinis and one pieces and everything that I own. I did just buy a few more pieces so I'm just waiting for those to come in and then I'll be filming that. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss that one when it comes out. But that's all for now and I hope you guys have a great day.